Hello, everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. I am Pan Xiang with the Xinhua News Agency. Here we are in Yangshuo of Guilin City. Yangshuo is famous for its natural landscape, and uh, it's in China and even the world. And uh, this year marks the 60th anniversary of the Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, and we are preparing a series of live shows to present you how beautiful this place is and uh, what's the mysterious of the rock climbing here. And follow our camera; we will take you to explore it. Today we have we have to, and today we are invite we have invited one of the one of the experts in rock climbing of Yangshuo. Mr. He, and Mr. He is the uh, he is the president of the Association of Yangshuo Rock Climbing. Uh, Hello, everyone. Welcome to Yangshuo. Okay, okay. We can see that this is a competition, right? Yes. This competition is what competition? This is our 11th Yangshuo Rock Climbing Contest. Now, how many people have participated in this competition? We have about 70 professionals in the competition. 70 professionals in the competition. And this this competition is the young is the 11th Yangshuo Rock Climbing Festival. And in this in this year, we have gathered over 60, uh, 70 uh, athletes from all over the world, including Singapore, America, and Poland. Uh, the rock climbing <coughs> in Yangshuo developed from uh, 1990. Uh, and uh, the first uh, route is, is developed at, the, at that time. And uh, since the 2008, the first uh, festival held, and uh, uh, the, the rock climbing in Yangshuo has developed a great deal in the past, uh, in the past uh, decades. And, uh, <coughs> and uh, right, right now, there is an official association, uh, association assisted by the local government. The rock climbing is booming. And this year we have invited over 70 athletes from over the from all over the world. From, uh, for example, from Singapore, from Amer from the U.S. and from Poland. And uh, now we will now we will take you to another place and uh, to enjoy the real natural limestone. But before that, we will we will invite invite one of our one of our special guests from the U.S. And uh, he will take us have a better understanding about rock climbing, Mr. Andrew. Okay, and uh, let's welcome. Hi, hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. How are you? I'm doing great. Okay, and uh, welcome to our Xinhua Live Show. And uh, please say hello to our audience. Hey guys, how you doing? Happy you can come to Yangshuo and be a part of our celebrations here. Okay, and uh, uh, could you give us a brief introduction to yourself, as you have stayed Yangshuo for a long time? Um, Yangshuo is a great thing. I've, I came here to change my life. Actually, I didn't come here to change my life. I came here on a hard time yeah. in my life. And when I came here, it actually changed quite a bit. I ended up quitting my job and lived, uh, chose to live here for the last 10 okay, years. When did you come here? Uh, 2008. 2008. Yeah. And right now, we will, take, we will take you to explore the real rock climbing routes. OK, let's continue to explore. And we will arrive, we'll arrive the, the mountain here. This is a wonderful crag because it's right next to the road. Yeah. Uh, and it's nice because we can pull, pull up and park yeah. our motorbikes here and just have yeah. really easy access. Yeah. You can see from here, the the crag is beautiful. It's from the gr right off the ground, it's vertical. Yeah. And as the higher you go, it gets steeper all the way up. Yeah. And it's ro about 45, 50 meters yeah. high, totally. Yeah. Mm. So we have seen some of the, some athletes over there. Yeah, they, yeah. it's not a surprise. They, they're here all the time, every day. And we have seen that uh, uh, in front of in front of us, there are some athletes over there. They are having they are having the rock climbing. And uh, follow our camera. We will take you to to have a look. Xiao Xin, watch, watch out. Okay. Are we meeting somebody here? Yeah. And we can see. So this is one of the routes here. You are 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 here. You are
uh, this uh, is from Chengdu, the hometown of Panda. And uh, uh, do you want to come here? Yes, yes. He's especially from Chengdu to come here to have the rock climbing. How are you feeling? This is pretty good. Pretty good, right? Yes. Do you have any places to attract you? 呃，反正就是挑战自己的嘛，那个难度就不一样的，然后可以越爬越好，反正难度越来越大。对对对，这样子。And、uh, he said that, uh, he had he had a good experience here, and, uh, uh he, he have tried some other places in Yangshuo, and、uh, this time he want he want to change himself again, so he choose to Yangshuo to have the rock climbing. Oh, we have have seen the crack. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite. Looks like dangerous. Yeah. Yes, very overhung. Over overhung. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should come on up here a little bit. And yeah. Get some more flat area. Okay. Please just. Yeah. Keep coming. Up. Okay. Wow. Well, we have seen that there are some other, some other, athletes and or fans to come here to have the rock climbing. So every day th there are. Just like this, right? Uh, this this time of year, yes.、Yeah. Uh, this is the dry season. It's the primary、yeah. climbing season in Yangshuo.、Yeah. It's October and October and November into December,、uh, and so we get a lot of Chinese and some foreigners that come here, and they'll be here every day,、yeah. starting around noon to five in the afternoon or、yeah. per se. A lot of them are locals, and a lot of them are just visiting from other locations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're professional. Are they professional?、Uh, these gentlemen here, they are professional. Yeah.、Okay. Uh, some of these guys、uh, have been,、uh, they've been living in Yangshuo for quite a while.、Yeah. Maybe they've moved to other locations, but these guys,、uh, they're, yeah, they're on the top end of Yangshuo、yeah. of the climbers in China.、Yeah. How to distinguish the the roots from the from the crack?、Uh, what is the what、hmm. is the roots? Okay. So basically, if we're going to put a new road up, we're、yeah. looking for features that are really attractive, and we can、yeah. find a, you know, how the features link together、um, to create something fun and really entertaining to climb. Yeah.、Um, so, but that is when you're opening a new line. But now, the lines are already developed. We have、um, a Dawei. Dawei, can you just one quick draw? Okay. okay. So right now we have bolts on the wall. You might be able to see some here.、Mm -hmm. um, we have some bolts on the wall,、yeah. and usually you would hang something like this on it. And now, so you can see, there's a few bolts okay, located bolts. on the wall, <laughs>、yeah. and then up higher you can see some、okay. maybe quick draws hanging. What、um, is the highest? What is highest?、Uh, so this rope right here is hanging at around maybe 25 meters, 30 meters. And then the top of the wall is around 50 meters per se.、Okay. Mm -hmm. How is the difficulty?、Mm -hmm. How is、Sorry. how is the difficulty?、Uh, the difficulty of the bottom part of this route, it's it's quite hard. It's around 513B,、yeah. uh, but the top part of it is、uh, 514A,、yeah. and so it's it's on the upper level of、okay. difficulty.、Okay. Mm -hmm. So which one is the route you have developed here?、Uh, mine, the one I've done, is actually over here. These gentlemen are are they're kind of. Can we have a look? Sure. <laughs> okay. okay. Is it this one? So、uh, these gentlemen are climbing the, the crack right here, and then、yeah. there's、uh, another route here, and there's、yeah. really pocketed face. Yeah. I I, I developed some, a route over here on the very pocketed、yeah. face. Um, it's honestly, it's not a, it's not a major route at the crag. It's actually really fun. Yeah.、Uh, so it, it, the, the style, it's really different from other styles in Yangshuo because it's,、yeah. it's, it's really overhung, but it's like pocket, pocket, two finger pocket, two finger、yeah. pocket, two finger pocket, and a lot of routes have maybe one two finger pocket, but this route, it's got like five or six of them in a row, and it's so really steep and it's kind of really fun and interesting to climb. Okay. I realized in, in the beginning. I just wanted to open up roots,、yeah. develop roots, because they were,、um, because it's fun and it's exciting, it's an adventurous. <laughs> But the more that I did it,、yeah. the more I realized it's an art form, and that it's going to be there、art、for、form. it's going to be there for a long time.、Yeah. So you're you're not really you're not really creating because it's there. But you're 
kind of reading the rock and trying to make it into something that everybody can enjoy. Yeah. And so if you decide to put the bolt here or here, you're changing how people will enjoy the rock or will they even enjoy it at all because the bolt is in the wrong spot yeah. or is it unsafe? Yeah. And so to make these decisions, you need some time. And sometimes it's very easy, sometimes it's very difficult. Yeah. And do you remember mm -hmm. how many routes have you developed? Uh, in, Yang, in, Yangshuo, in Yangshuo alone, I'm more than 100. It's about 120, 130 in Yangshuo. Uh, in China itself, I'm probably around 200, 250. Okay. So except to Guangxi, you, you mm -hmm. also go to other places in China to develop the roots? Yeah, I've done some in Guangdong, I've done some in Yunnan, I've done some in Sichuan, in yeah. Xinjiang, and I think in Shenyang. Shenyang. Uh, yeah, I've done some in... Zhejiang, okay. I've done some in Fujian. Yeah. Right? So I've, I've been, I've been around. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, as that you have been so many provinces of China to Zhejiang, Guangdong, uh, as you said. How do you think of the rock climbing right now in China? Um, I think it's 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 really nice. Uh, actually, in the last five years, there's been a lot of development of new areas yeah. in China, yeah. and. Yeah. So outside of China, we are not aware of this, yeah. but inside of China, uh, I think it's a wonderful thing because it gives people that live in Yangshuo or in other cities yeah. of more convenience to go outside yeah. rock climbing and enjoy the outdoors. Yeah. To me, this is the whole goal of it, how to enjoy the outdoors in a fun way. And before it was more, everybody has to come to Yangshuo. Yeah or one or two other locations in China. But now there's, even Guangxi itself, in Guangxi there's six or seven locations to go climbing in, in yeah. Guangxi. Yeah. Yeah. They don't have the number of routes that we have in Yangshuo, but there's 50 routes there, or 100 routes there. In Yangshuo we have close to 1,000 routes, or right around 1,000 routes. Yes, it's, it's and uh, as the uh, in the past decades, uh, you live in you live in China or you come to China for many times. And uh, since 1978, that China has uh, initiated the policy of opening uh, opening and uh, opening up and reform. China's economy has changed a great deal in the past uh, decades. And uh, how do you think of the economic status, the relations between economic status and the uh, the athletes' willingness to enjoy the rock climbing. Hmm. That's a it's a really good question, but it's also a really deep question. <laughs> um, so over the years, uh, I think China when China opened up, there was a lot of opportunities, and most of the people were focused on uh, trying to make a better li a life for themselves. And it wasn't until you know around 2005 maybe a few years before I came to Yangshuo, that many, many of the locals in Yangshuo and in, actually in Guangxi, they started realizing that climbing is a, outdoor sports is a way of life and they can actually make a living having business doing these things, having guiding. And so they don't need to be going to the big cities to work in a business office. Or they don't need to be working in a field as a farmer. They can do something that's fun and exciting and make some money as well. Since then, um, a lot of the people that were back, that were focusing on rock climbing then, they're actually turning into business owners now in the outdoor industry. And that's itself expanding the rock climbing market and expanding the outdoor industry in China itself. Uh, because uh, the rock climbing is going to be an Olympic sport in the next yeah, couple of years, uh, the government is also helping to support uh, a lot of the training with some new facilities yeah. and some youth programs. I don't foresee China being very powerful in the Olympics immediately, yeah. but after one or two Olympics go by, after another five to ten years, yeah. they, they'll be on top of the game as well. Yeah. They'll be a high competitor in the world. Yeah. To me, it's only a matter of time until the Chinese, the, the coaching and the training, reaches the international level and the community grows more and there's more participants and we're really pushing into the world stage okay i think we're on the edge of it i think china's on the edge of it right now we need another little little bit a little bit effort, okay but, mm -hmm. so we have to pay uh, put a uh, much more efforts to promote the, uh, the this kind of sports 
and to maybe go go maybe to attract much more young people to I think it's not necessarily the young people but it's maybe people like your age and my age people that are like 30 years old that are interested in having they have some free time and they like nature they just don't know how to enjoy it and so if we can give them some sort of social life around outdoors and uh, exercising which is something like rock climbing yeah. then they will be more into the sport itself and that will just promote a sense of community and a different lifestyle and that in itself will create their children learning from somebody that the thing is if you put your child in if I'm a rock climber and I allow my child who is five years old to study rock climbing they will excel at it 100 percent but if I am not a rock climber and I force my child to study rock climbing, that's very difficult. They will become better at it, but they won't have the same ability as somebody that comes from a parent that likes the sport as well. So I'm looking to make things happen between adults and children together, try to make more family-oriented activities so they can enjoy rock climbing together. It should be not a sport itself. It should be a family culture to to enrich their life, to enrich their li enrich their life, and to in to improve their uh, life quality. Right. Exactly. Okay. You got it. Okay. And uh, after after we have have seen the rock climbing here, and we will have some some athlete some athletes to have a, a short interview, and uh, uh, and we ha have seen that. Uh, uh, here, he, here is some athletes here, and uh, we, we will have a short interview here. Hello. Hello. Uh, uh, we are from the Hubei, but I've been here for a long time. You've been here for a long time? Yes, for a long time. What do you mean by this? We have a Hubei company that is working on Hubei education, and has a lot of international students who have a lot of different activities. Hello. 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 Uh, he, he is named uh, Huang and Mr. Huang uh, came fr come from Hubei province in China and uh, he has come here over s nine years and especially and now he he's working in a in a camp uh, which is uh, which is uh, engaged in the rock climbing we have freelancers的形式出现，对，因为所有的攀岩者都是喜欢自由的那种，不愿意长期那种做一个固定的工作，所以他们就选择啊，在有团队的时候就工作，然后没团队的时候就来攀岩。主要还是为这个爱好者服务